And now, your local weather authority forecast. Clear skies, but barely cold day across the base. And this is a live look at Odessa early on your Monday morning, getting later on your Monday morning, getting close to the afternoon. And yeah, despite the sunshine, the blue skies, very deceiving. A good look at downtown Odessa, a little bit of a haze layer indicating the cold air present. Cold air is more dense, so it settles closer to the ground. Higher up in the sky, clear skies, and actually warmer air above the surface. Satellite and radar showing the clear skies for much of the basin. Those wind particles moving from northeast to southwest, clouds drifting off to our south. Rain, snow, sleep, freezing rain moving out of the Lone Star State toward Louisiana, Arkansas, indicating the cold air even in the southern eastern part of the United States. Now, most of the basin dealing with this northeasterly flow, the cold air, but places like Marfa, Alpine, if you look closely enough in the trans Pecos, southwesterly winds budding up against the mountains, warmer and drier air higher up in elevation and to our southwest of the Midland and Odessa area. So kind of a temperature inversion, meaning the higher up you go, usually gets colder, it's actually warmer. But Again, dealing with the cold, and that will be the big story for most of the basin throughout at least the next couple of days. Wind chill advisory in effect till tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central Time and 9 a.m. Mountain Time, including Ector, Midland County, Spork, Stockton, into parts of the mountain strain, the Trans Pecos, where eventually temperatures by tomorrow morning will be much lower than this morning. Real field temperature early this morning was as low as negative four. Now it feels like 16, so not as cold. 19, that's what it feels like in Big Spring. Doesn't feel quite as cold in, look at that, Alpine, Marfa, the Rio Grande. Temperatures feeling like the 50s and 60s because that's what we are experiencing right now in those areas. Very sunny, 19 officially at the airport. 40% relative humidity, good visibility, very calm winds. Winds will start to pick back up later this afternoon through the evening with a reinforcing shot of cold air. Again, temperatures generally in the teens right now warmer and drier the Marfa Plateau to the Rio Grande, eventually warming up into the 60s and low 70s, a sharp contrast, battleground, places like Pecos, Fork Sock in the 40s, struggling to reach the 30s in places like Midland, Odessa. I think that model underestimating how cold will be, overestimating those temperatures. Average high 58, average low 33, record low temperatures, six degrees set back in 1972. We were close this morning at nine, reaching the freezing mark this afternoon. Some of you all may not reach the freezing mark until later Wednesday morning. Winds generally coming in from the north or east are very calm along I-20. Again, that west southwesterly flow from Van Horn to the Marfa Plateau indicating the milder and drier air. So a battleground between the mild and cold air. But eventually, northwesterly winds will push that southwesterly flow farther to the southwest with colder air with clouds overnight, temperatures in the teens, winds from the east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour, making it feel like below zero once again tomorrow morning with air temperatures in the upper single digits tomorrow morning. Some passing clouds this afternoon, but generally these clouds won't be producing any form of precipitation, and we'll see some of that break in the cloud action tonight into tomorrow morning. Again, very cold tomorrow morning, but not as cold tomorrow afternoon at 30 degrees. Winds from the east from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Much less windy tomorrow despite the very cold air. Cold today, cold tomorrow, but we start to see some hope in sight later Wednesday. 50s, 50s, dust on Thursday. Not a cold front, but not as cold Friday and Saturday. Warming back up Sunday. So, Mike, we were just mentioning today is Monday Blue Day or whatever, and it's very depressing, one of the most depressing days of the year. But hey, there is hope in sight later this week. You're absolutely right, Ryan. In fact, I'm going to focus on the positive, and that's this morning coming into work. At least there wasn't a frozen sheet of ice on my windshield that I had to deal with before I could even leave. So I guess a dry cold like you were telling us about. Absolutely. But one disclaimer. Despite this cold air, no wintry precipitation expected. I will, uh, I will take it. Uh, Absolutely. Let's let's get that. Uh, we need the rain. We'll just do it when it's a little bit warmer. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Ryan. Of course.